Okay, in lesson four, we worked, uh, we're going to work on congruent triangles and figuring out if there's some shortcuts to um, making sure that two triangles are congruent. So in this first activity, your goal is to just create a triangle with all of these measurements using a ruler, a protractor, making sure all of these measurements happen. So there's multiple different ways that you can do that. One thing that is for sure is you cannot just use the three angles. Okay, if you do the three angles, it never sets the size of the triangle. So you want to make sure that you've, you've used at least one side. Okay, so a lot of people like to start by measuring one of the sides. So maybe you're going to start with this five centimeter side, okay, and just measure a side that's five centimeters. Um, and then I would say it's kind of difficult using your tools to just jump straight to another side because you're not really sure kind of what to do. Like where should the two be? Should it, should it be two centimeters here, here? Like if I'm doing AC, should the C go here? Should it go here? Like where should the C go? Because there's all these places. In fact, a circle of places that are two centimeters away from A. And then we also have to ensure that this is 3.7 away. So if I were to just go and draw in a two centimeter side here, okay, and then go over and hope that um, I can get a 3.7 centimeter side. And so if I kind of rotate down here when I connect that B to the end of that one, it's only 3.2. So that means that two wasn't in the right spot. Okay, and that's because I didn't check this angle. So instead, I should probably find this angle first and draw that angle on there. Okay, and this angle is 40. So draw that angle on there so that I know where to be measuring my two. Okay, so now I can set the ruler back on A and then measure this two centimeters. Okay, so now I know that that's where C is because now I already have set this angle at 40 and now I've got this side. Okay, so now if I connect here, okay, now let me go and measure and see if that's correct. Okay, so now if I put it on B and go all the way to C, is that at 3.7? Sure enough, it is. Okay, so now the pieces of information that I actually used um, were just those ones drawn in black. Then when I went to measure this, this was actually 3.7 like it was supposed to be. And if I measure this angle B, okay, it's 20. Okay, so you can see there that it's a 20 degree angle which is in fact what it was supposed to be. And if I move it to angle C, okay, angle C is at 120. So kind of all those other pieces fell into place. So that's one way you could have done that. Um, another way that people have done it is maybe starting, um, some people have started with an angle, okay? So you could certainly just start by drawing an angle somewhere. Okay, and to draw an angle, you got to start with a segment. And so then you're just going to start drawing on that segment, or you're going to get, sorry, not start drawing on it, but grab an angle on it. Okay, so now I'm going to draw a 40 degree angle from here if I'm drawing angle A. So now what I started with was A. And I know that this is 40 degrees. What I haven't set is how long each of these sides are. So then you would start to go in and measure. Okay, well, if I want to find where C is, it's two centimeters from A. So I could go set my ruler at A and now measure two centimeters. So two centimeters away from A is point C. So now I know that this is where point C is. And B is five centimeters away from A, so I can set it on A again, okay, but measure up the other side of the, um, measure up the other side of the angle and measure to five. 
and that's where B is going to be. So then here's B, and then I could connect B to C, because now I've got all three vertices. So I measured this at 5, this at 2, and then you could just check to make sure all the other stuff was correct. So is angle C 120 degrees? Yes, it is. Okay, you could put it on B and check that B is 20 degrees. Okay, B is 20 degrees. And then you could check that BC, the side, was 3.7, which it is. So then all those other pieces of information kind of checked out. They worked, okay, by not having to measure everything. Okay, all these other pieces kind of fell into place. So some things that people kind of did that didn't work is a couple of people just started with the angles or just did the angles. Okay, so then they started by just drawing a segment. Then they took their protractor and um, measured a 40 degree angle. Okay, then they said, all right, now I'm going to measure a 20 degree angle. And they measured the 20 degree angle and they said, all right, there's my triangle. Okay, the problem with this is that once we take the ruler to start measuring, so if you remember the 40 degree angle is angle A and the 20 degree angle was angle B and the 120 degree angle is angle C. So if I measure this, it's 120, okay? But when I start trying to measure these sides, this side is just however long the person drew the first segment. So this is 10.4 centimeters for me. Okay, and that's a problem since that wasn't one of the measurements. So once they drew an angle, they needed to measure to make sure that they had the correct side. Okay, so they needed to measure at 5 and do this 20 degree angle from the 5. And then they would have gotten the correct triangle. So... Lots of different ways you can create the triangle. Definitely don't need six pieces of information, okay? You could certainly use three like I did here. Maybe you're using four, whatever it is. Um, and so there's actually a couple of pieces of, there's a couple of things that will help you make sure you draw the exact triangle. So in class, we played a little game and somebody had this secret triangle. So if this is a triangle that you couldn't see, um, people asked for information about this triangle, okay, to try and figure out and make sure that they drew it correctly. Okay, so certainly it's kind of like repeating the warm up. Okay, so if you were successful in that last activity, maybe you're asking for a side and then setting the angle. Okay, so just setting that angle at however long and then measuring up that angle, okay, with um, asking for a measurement here, okay, and getting the length of that side. So you asked for, you know, this side, this bottom side, this angle here, and this side here. And then you could draw the whole triangle and measured it out and all of the things matched up. Um, some people asked for that same side, that same angle, okay, so they asked for side CB, um, and then angle C, and then asked for side AB. So then they asked to have just a side length that was 1.9. So putting the ruler kind of over by B and doing a 1.9 side length, they knew it had to cross over at this line, right? Um, and so I don't have this set. Hold on. Let me get this to 2.4. Okay, so I had a 2.4 segment here. And then they, now they're looking for 1.9. So as they're rotating, okay, so there's 1.9. This is crossing at 1.9. So then they're drawing this segment here and saying, all right, here's the triangle. Okay, and here's the three sides that they have. 
Okay, the problem with this is that if you keep rotating this, you actually get another 1.9 right here. Okay, so it hit 1.9 here, and then it also hit 1.9. Actually, I'm a little off on this one. Let me delete this. Okay, you hit 1.9 here. Okay, so we hit 1.9 here. And then as you keep going, you actually get another 1.9 right here. So 1.9 hits that angle a couple different times. So if I were to kind of sketch this, whoops, triangle, this is one triangle that was created, okay, that looks like this. So we got C, we got B, and we got A, okay? We know that this angle is 51, we know this is 2.4, and we know this is 1.9. Okay, another possibility that some people got with that same information is this triangle. So they got the 51 degree angle, they got a 2.4 side, and they got a 1.9 side. And these two triangles are not the same size. Okay, if you measure this side, this one would be 1.9, this one not 1.9. Okay, so asking for that information did not allow them to draw this triangle. So when they ask for this angle, this side, and this side, okay, they didn't get it because they didn't know how to measure here. They didn't know where to measure this angle at. Where do I measure it at? This one or this one? Okay, so instead of asking for the side and this angle over here, asking for the angle in between the two sides is important. You need to know the two sides and the angle that they meet each other at. Okay, you don't want to have this side, this angle, and then this side length because then you don't know what this angle should be at. You only know the length of this side you're not sure how to actually draw it onto this triangle. You just know it's this length, okay? Another thing that doesn't allow you to draw the triangle is just all three angles like we kind of already talked about. So some people were um, specifically asking, so what I've seen um, people asking for that they were successful with, was people asked for this like angle C, angle B, and um, side BC. Okay, that was one set that people asked for and it was always successful. Okay, or they asked for, like I just said, two sides and that angle in between, always successful. If you know how to do it, you can actually do it with the three side lengths too, okay? Because you can set it by using a compass. So you could open your compass if you know how long your side is supposed to be. So if this is 2.4 and then you know the other sides need to be 1.9, okay? Then you could open your compass to 1.9. Okay, and then you could draw a circle representing all the places that are 1.9 units away from C. Okay, now the BA segment is also 1.9. Otherwise, you'd open this to a new setting, but then you can draw all the ones that are 1.9 from B. So this one point right here is the only point that is 1.9 from both B and C. So then you know, whoops, so then you know this is 1.9, this is 1.9, and if you were to measure um, this angle, you would get 51, and if you measured this, you would get 51, and if you measured this, you would get 78. So um, if we take a look at 5.3, or sorry, 4.3, so this one tells you that Jada and Tyler were playing the little card game where they have an, a triangle that they're trying to get. 
So Tyler asked, can I have two sides and an angle? And Jada told Tyler that her triangle has a 16 degree angle, a five centimeter side and a four centimeter side. So Tyler drew a triangle and he drew a triangle that had a 16 degree angle, a five centimeter side and a four centimeter side. Did Tyler, first of all, is Tyler's triangle, is this triangle congruent to this one? So are these the same size? Absolutely not. No way. Okay, those are not at all the same size. So did Tyler do anything that didn't match Jada's instructions? Okay, did he use a 16 degree angle? Yes. Does he have a five centimeter side? Does he have a four centimeter side? So this is a case where Tyler asked for two sides, but not the angle between them. So that allowed for him to end up with the wrong triangle. So how could Tyler have been more specific in his directions to Jada? He could have said that he wanted two angles and, or sorry, two sides. So one angle. Let's start over. Okay, so two sides, let me just rewrite it. Two sides, okay, that's what he wanted, and the angle between them. Or he could have added letters to them. So he could, could have said he wanted side AC, side AB, and angle A, the angle between them. Okay, so side AC, side AB, and the angle between. All right, so these are um, the kind of the big ticket items, and I'm actually going to do this. This is on the summary page, okay? So if you look at your summary page, so if you look at your lesson summary page, these are kind of the big ideas of ones that will work that people used in class that actually work to create only one other triangle. So the only triangle you can create is the one that looks exactly like this, that is congruent to this. And that's when you have two pairs of corresponding sides, okay? So you draw two sides that you know are the same, and the angle between them, okay? So that angle needs to be between them, okay? That between is really important for that angle. You could also get two pairs of angles, Okay, so two pairs of corresponding angles and the side between them. So like we started with the side and then we drew out the angle and drew the angle on the other side. Okay, so two angles with the side between or all three pairs of sides. If you're given that information, it will create only one triangle, a congruent triangle. Okay, so you can only draw that unique triangle. So two sides with the angle between. Okay, so the two sides you have, it's that angle that's created. Okay, that's the one that you need. Or you can get two angles and the side in between. Okay, so you see that on each of the two triangles. That's the only triangle possible. Or you can just see that all three sets of sides are the same. So if you see two triangles that have all three sides the same, definitely congruent triangles. If you see two triangles with two sets of angles the same and the side in between, congruent. Two sets of sides with the angle between, congruent. So make sure that you have those three um, written somewhere or like that you've highlighted that in your book and that you know what page that's on so that you can look back on it.